And good evening, I'm Mike Brooks. Here's a look at some of today's top stories from Two Works For You. Tulsa's first search for mass graves from the 1921 race massacre ends with more questions. Researchers announced today that a week of test excavations uncovered no indications of mass graves at Oaklawn Cemetery. Now last year, scans revealed an anomaly in one area of that cemetery. Crews did find several artifacts, including a pair of shoes, but really not much else. Since the start of this pandemic, pharmaceutical and biotechnology companies have been working to develop a vaccine for the virus. Today, the Health and Human Services Secretary announced the U.S. has inked a deal with Pfizer for delivery of millions of vaccine doses by the end of the year. Under this agreement, the U.S. can get 500 million additional doses. The vaccine will be made available to Americans at no cost. Thursday, Tulsa officials and Muncie Power Products will move forward on building a new facility at Peoria Mohawk Business Park. The new facility will be the first to break ground in the business park. Muncie Power Products is currently located in Tulsa, but their growth led to a decision to build a new facility and expand their manufacturing capabilities in North Tulsa. Two Cares for the Community is partnering with Project ELF and Car and Car Attorneys for our annual Back to School Backpack Drive. We're collecting backpacks, new underwear and socks. You can drop off donations at our Brookside Studios here at 37th and Peoria Monday through Friday between 5, 9 and 5. Or you can donate virtually on KGRH.com slash back to school. Let's take a look outside right now. Chance of showers, Mike Collier says, for Thursday and Friday. Cooler temperatures. Look at that on Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. That is a look at some of the stories making headlines for you today. Of course, stay with Two Works For You for updates throughout the day. We'll see you then.